everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here in Elkar, Indiana at Open House showing you guys all the newest RVs out there. Behind me is a new diesel pusher from Thor, simplifying things to try to stop, to try to combat that diesel price increase so much. So they're trying to introduce something that's a lot more affordable price point. This is the 2024. Thor Palazzo GT model 37.5. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Palazzo GT and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video again today i am super excited to be showing you guys a new thor diesel pusher motorhome the palazzo gt now again i said this earlier all these brands they keep going up 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 and up in price and it's really discouraging it's pricing a lot of people out of the diesel market so that's why i love this palazzo gt because they're trying to simplify some things to make it more affordable for you the consumer and if you guys don't like more affordable no problem they got a lot of higher end stuff it's so much easier to spend more money you know what i'm saying before i begin gotta say hi to andrea hey andrea hi everybody how's it going it's going good i'm so excited to be here i just i love to see new floor plans yes so i can't wait to see this yes and then look at your name tag i want to uh, <laughs> with general rv but also matt's rv yes andre it's do we get paid double no <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're here twice. Yes. No, I'm just Andrea, let's begin. Model is the Thor Palazzo 37 GT. This is their entry level diesel pusher. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 38 feet 5 inches, I saw. And the actual tip to tip length is 38 feet 11 inches, Andrea. This sits on the Freightliner XCS chassis. It has the Cummins 6.7 liter, 340 horsepower, 700 pound feet of torque. Now, yes, take a look at that. And then here's some of the uh, awesome features about that, Andrea. Now, when I say XCS chassis, that's a straight rail chassis. It's not a raised rail chassis. So you're not gonna get that incredible storage like you get in the other brands, but it's also gonna be a lot better price. Right up front here, generator underneath there. I love these LED lights designs. I think it looks fantastic. Huge front windshield right there, frameless windows. Looks really, really good. Right over here, we do have mirrors on both sides black mirrors with cameras integrated in both mirrors and then here we have some storage here with your uh thor tie down right there for your puppers and a uh, doggy window right here now andrea one of the disadvantages of an xcs chassis is that you don't get that incredible storage but one of the advantages is is you can now have a mid-entry door which means you don't have a front bus style door which means you do have this doggy window capability. And then look at these tires, Drain and Michelin's, I love those. 275-80R, 22.5, with shiny AccuRide rims. Right over here, we do have our fuel fill up, both sides, okay? Coming on down, you can see it does have a beautiful full body paint job. Power awning with LED lights on the slide out, also an awning on the door side right there. Dang, even here at open house, it's locked. Uh-oh. Right there, that's where a TV goes. <laughs> right here, we do have okay. storage. And then... Good storage. Hang on. Is that double door? Yes. And then right here, Andre, you can see that straight rail? That's what I mean. Now, don't get me wrong. You still have phenomenal storage in here. You just don't have that, like, slide-out tray and everything. And if you guys see my lip... Yeah. Womp womp. That's from Hershey. Yeah. He so got, his lips got really sunburned. I got sunburned, and now my lip keeps splitting. Look at the lips. Splickety split, you know? You know what movie that's from? Yes. What movie? Eight Mile. <laughs> it's always, you are, you're you always questioning me on movies and songs. I question well, too. The difference <laughs> is, you get it right. Uh-oh. <coughs> okay, we got some more storage here. Poor Will never gets it right. Really? Yeah. Is that, what is that? Oh. I think it's potable water filter. Okay. Oh no, yeah. Oh, there's Just the potable. Potable water. All right, come on down, Andrea. Okay. Storage there. And a battery bank. Yep. Nice storage here. Oh. Now these, another thing about the uh, Palazzo GT, it is gonna have the fiberglass doors. They're still slam latch, but it's not the nice aluminum slam latch door. And then right here we do have a uh, nice 
suburban instant hot tankless water heater. Coming around the back, Andrea. No ladder to get up on the roof. We do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Backup camera there. And then right here, we do have a 10,000 pound hitch. Now, I'm not saying you can tow 10,000 pounds. You're good with at least 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you must know before you tow. It really depends on how much you load up in your motorhome. And then right up there, Andrea, is your backup camera. <clears throat> That's okay. I can get oh, around this you got way. it? Yes. Perfect. Right over here, Andrea, 50 amp power cord. Okay. Over here, you can see this place for you to dump your tanks. All right, here, watch your head. Here's where you fill up your DEF. Very nice. Coming on down. There's your wet bay. <clears throat> wet bay, water hookup and everything. Very nice. Another uh, dump station there. Here's the other side of that storage. Oh, look, I like how that just closes. Yes. Very nice. Double doors here. It's the other side of the storage. Yes, and again, both of these doors open and close. <clears throat> right over here's the propane. And then Miss Jennifer, if you could, bing, please put all the specs about this motorhome right there for everybody who's watching on television. And then here is some uh, of your hydraulics for your auto leveling and everything. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Palazzo looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Take a look at the inside. Oh, hi, Will. Hi, Jen. Come on down. Go take a look at the inside. All right. So everybody, I am i don't know the cargo carrying capacity. Oh, there it is right there, Matt. Get it? Up oh, cargo carrying capacity. Wow. 8,320 pounds. Okay. That's very good. Okay. So up so what? doing a 360 here. Oh, no. As you can see, the slide is out. So. We've got the sofa, dinette, we've got a nice kitchen. Walking through here. And I think you can open, I mean, I don't know what the slide in, but I'm pretty sure you can open that. Doesn't look like it's gonna take up much space when the slide's in. Here's the half bath. Very nice. And then coming back into the master bedroom, we've got a tilt-a-bed, and then the master bathroom. Very yes. pretty. Okay, so um, we're here to open a house, and if you guys are seeing, Will and Jen are doing some reviews of their own on our channel. Uh, before that, before we give a big shout out to the commercial, Will, may you stay in the shower for us? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> for those of oh. you who don't know, Will is six foot three. Ooh, that's a nice shower. It is. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. This goes up. Good skylight here. It's kind of awkward because of the sea, but like if you're standing here showering, you know, you have enough head space. I do like the sea and it's got the water recirculating thing. This passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal approval. There you go. Great. Mm. Thank you, Will. Yeah. So uh, we got to have a little meeting with Will and Jen. And while we're doing that about what they're going to be recording next, we got to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Guys, it is officially summertime. The sun's out, gun's out, and it is absolutely hot. That's why I'm bringing you this special message from our friends at RVMatches.com. The one thing that's worse than having a warmer camper or hot summer days is having an uncomfortable night's sleep when you're tossing and turning. Our friends at RVMatches.com, they make the absolute best mattresses for their RVs. The Aurora Lux mattress, which is the mattress, mattress that we have, has this cooling fiber technology, which is scientifically proven to keep the mattress cool. So you're not gonna be tossing and turning all night. You're gonna get a cool night's sleep. It's absolutely amazing. It was one of my favorite features about having a mattress from RVMattress.com. Guys, RVMattress.com makes mattresses specifically for RVs. They get shipped to your house and their factory is based out of Arizona. So you know it is kick butt and awesome. If you guys wanna get a new match to your RV, click my link down below and use promo code Matt to get 25% off your purchase. Big shout out to RVMatches.com for sponsoring this awesome video. Stay cool this summer, y'all. Let's continue the video. All right, and we're back. And Andrea, I do love how spacious this is, but I can definitely tell in this area in particular, it would be a little tight 
while walking down, but not like the tightest either. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's definitely, no, you don't think so at all? Oh, you know what? I just realized it's a double slide or it's a right, but still, But still, I think it's going to be one of the more spacious ones. Sorry we can't get the slide outs open and closed for you here. But again, it's just like, it's a compromise. All right, Andrea, right here. 6.7 liter, 340 horsepower, Cummins. This America, 700 pound feet of torque. This is a very nice entry level diesel pusher. Right here, we do have the um, Lippert auto leveling, phone controls, air dump right there, air brakes. It's also a telescoping steering wheel, Andrea. In, out, up, down. You do have the digital dash from Freightliner right there, which is super cool. And then right here, here's where our camera is. Left side, right side, and reverse side. Oh, man. There's even some stylus glasses for you, Andrea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I need another pair. <laughs> there you go. Um, and then uh, how do you feel right there? Um, It's comfortable. I got a workspace, workstation right here, which yes. is very sturdy. I love these. I got plenty of leg space. Cup holder here. Both these seats do swivel. Yes. And, you know, I got a little window down there. So when I have my baby's bangle with me. No, no, no. No, no, no. My, my Yuna. And Yuna. And Yuna. Yes. And then above we have a storage. Okay. Very Over nice. Here. Very nice. And then Andre, something I want to show that we never have the opportunity for. Um, look at this. You can have some different decor choices. Cashmere. Dovetail. Stardust. Is that the one we're in? Very nice. I can't tell either. I think so. Okay, and then right here, Andre, we do have a bunk over the cab. Again, another advantage to not having that front bus style door is that your exit's right here, so you still have that awesome bunk over the cab that right there. That holds 500 pounds. Yes, and then right here we have phenomenal storage. Here's your touch screen right there. I believe it's called Firefly. <coughs> now, I like that they have like the separation here when yes. you come in and then look, there is some storage over there. I like the two-tone color. Yeah. It took me a second. I'm like, do I like this? But I actually like it and I know why they did it. It's a really nice They plate. did it, you know, to make it look a little bit bigger yes. and the contrast actually looks pretty good. And then check out these cabinetries here. And then look at that handle right there. Do you like that handle? Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Yep. And then you can't see the top part of the valance, but you can see the side part of the valance right there. Zula. You can see the over here, Matt. Andrea. Oh, let's take a look. Andrea. Approved. Bing. Oh, Andrea loves that valance. And then right over here, we do have daytime blinds and privacy blinds. Right here, this does drop down to make a bed. Very nice. Don't show that. Don't show that. We want people <laughs> to wait and see. And then. <clears throat> storage underneath yeah and on this side as well yes very nice got your car seat tether there yes and then let me do this do 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 okay about that i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you guys the sale price i'm gonna tell you guys the sale price okay <clears throat> right here we have this very nice and then this sofa is right here Okay, so this is not a trifold, Andrea. Oh, it's a jackknife? Yeah, it just jackknifes down. Oh. Very interesting and different, but I'm sitting here, it's very comfortable. And Andrea, I totally see what you're saying, not just with the two-tone cabinetries, but like just the two tones all in all. That's a nice chair rail right there. Very nice mirror. And Andrea, I do love how long this sofa is. A lot of times they'll have like these two-seater sofas. You can definitely fit two and a half or three people here, you know? And then right here, Andrea, I am looking directly across at where the TV would go. Now with the push of this button, just like that, Andrea, and this sounds really stupid, but I love just pushing it one time and not having to hold it the whole time. You got the TV on the televator. Nice sound bar right there. Tons of um, nice little mantle space. So you can have like your awards, your a little decor. baby there. Yes. <clears throat> right here we do have drawer right underneath there and a uh, little bit of storage there and a fireplace Andrea what I do love about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity and also something to notice notice how there's no dump mode on these AC I units I see that right and it's just a little bit of a higher end look well Andrea do you know what time it is it's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP, MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. MSRP on this motorhome here Andrea this one here 
is 339 203 Andrea MSRP. Sale price, I believe that we as General RV would be selling this for about $259,995 sale price. Now Andrea, <clears throat> I am not confirming that that is the sale price. I do not know. Until it's on General, with all sale prices, if you don't see it on General RV's website, it's not valid. You know what I'm saying? But I've been doing this long enough. I'm pretty good on estimating that that's what the sale price of this would be. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if it's 10 grand lower than what I said, 10 grand higher than what I said, MSRP or no MSRP, the one thing I can always promise you is that we will be able to get you guys the absolute best price in America. All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash matscast, click the link down in the YouTube description below. That will take you to a member of my team after you fill out the form. They will reach out to you guys and they will make sure that you get the absolute best price in America on this door palazzo or any motorhome whatsoever. Andrea. Oh, and by the way, did we help a lot of people at Hershey this year? You know what I'm saying? F fan freaking tastic. Show everybody this awesome kitchen. Okay, look at this. I really do. <laughs> look at the two tones. Like, it's nice. At first I was like, hmm, I don't know what I think about <laughs> it, but it's growing on me. So here we have a cabinet with an adjustable shelf. Very nice. I'm glad they gave you a window in here. We've got a double sink here. Oh, very nice. Um, it has an extension. Okay. Got storage here, storage underneath. Yeah. Uh, over here we've got three drawers. I'm not seeing a lot of counter space. This looks soft closed. Okay, okay. I mean, you just got like this much and maybe that much. Okay, we've interesting. We've got the convection microwave. Yes, ma'am. Cute backsplash, <clears throat> two burner, uh, what is it called, guys? Induction cooktop. Induction cooktop. Andrea, it's like it's like you just got back from I, vacation I know. or something. I forgot already. We got a place for sponges, and under here we've got adjustable shelf. Very nice. Is that our camera? Nope. Oh, okay. Um, and then over here we've got the contour residential refrigerator. Very nice. The freezer down there. Yes. And then this must be the pantry. Oh. Okay, and it has adjustable shelves in it. Very nice. Very nice, yes. All right. And then Andrea, this is a bath and a half unit. Okay, very nice. Ooh, the balances are different. Ah. Cute. Look at well, those. Well, then Andrea, what do you think? Approved! Bing! Oh, Andrea, double approval for the balances. Right here, we do have the nice married medicine cabinet. Nice sink right here. And oh, liquefied! Our brand of RV toilet treatment. Andrea, you can get that on Amazon, eBay, Walmart.com in your local General RV. Guys, just go to PrimePoopMusician.com to pick up a bottle. Andrea, I'm sitting on this porcelain toilet, and guess what? This is a Prime Poop Musician. Ding! Very nice. We even have some Art Deco on the wall here. Cute little round sink there. Yes, and then some storage underneath there. Drawer there, okay. <clears throat> All right. Looks Come. like a very nice entryway into the master bedroom here with the pocket door. Sure is, Andrea. So first and foremost, prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. Very nice. Yes. TV right here, and I can already tell that there is going to be a little bit of storage behind the television. <coughs> very nice. We got storage right there, okay. There's like what one drawer there. Yes, very okay. nice. And then over here, Andrea, we do have a nice king size bed, tilt up bed, very very nice. Is it a king size? Oh my goodness! Is it? Looks more like a queen it size. It does, doesn't it? But yes, it is it a king, I think. No, it's definitely not a king. Oh, I was gonna say definitely it's queen. small. Yeah, definitely queen. Okay, so we have the little storage things on the side here, like yes. on the nightstand, and then you've got storage above. Got three cabinets, and there as well. I do think the headboard is really cute. Okay. I, I like these. Yes, and it is a tilt-up bed. Plenty of space in here, Andrea. When the bed is tilted up, that is one of the advantages of the tilt-up bed. And then coming on in here, we do have a very nice shower, which Will's already walked yes. in for us. There's a seat in there and everything. Yes, right over here. 
we have this coming off. What's that? Just all the water oh, heater okay. sticky. So we've got big medicine cabinet. Other way, Matt, this way, this way. There you, there you go. go. Very, very nice. And over here as well. Yes. Show okay. everybody. Now I'm having a hard time. There right. it is. How do you and like this uh, double sink area? I like double vanities. Um, I just <clears throat> like having that space. There's storage under here. Yes. And on the other side as well. And then we've got two drawers here. Soft clothes. Very nice. All right. And then another toilet area. So let's see. Oh, oh first. Oh, tower power behind That's there. That's nice, tower power. And then I'll try it. This is porcelain. This is one of the primest. This is a phenomenal. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice right there. It's a good entryway in here too. Look, this the space right there with the pocket door. I'm trying to, people are knocking it. Yeah, I don't know why. People are knocking it, but let me tell you, this is a phenomenal diesel at a phenomenal price. And Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we just don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Matt, let's do three things we like about it first. Okay. Well, I'm going to go first. Okay. Both bathrooms. Yes. Phenomenal. I agree. The big one. And the small one. Phenomenal. Primus the pooping positions. <laughs> big old showers, double vanities. What more can you ask for? Yes. Andrea. What more can we ask for? <laughs> um, okay, so that's number one. I said it a couple times while I was in here. Um, it's not usually my taste, but I do like this contrast. Talk to me. Like I like this gray, I like this dark <laughs> color. It's just different. And I like the fact that, you know, it makes it look bigger in here instead of it all being like one color sometimes that it's gets different. boring. I do like it. Let me know what you guys think. It's different, yeah, it's different. <laughs> okay, Andrea, that's number two. And then number three for me, life number three. You know what it's gonna be? I like this, like, flow. I like how they didn't have to put in two sofas. You know what I'm saying? I like how it's big and spacious, but not congested. Oh my gosh. Did you hear what I said? Not congested. It's not congested in here, you know? Right. And it really flows well. The flow almond tree in here is very well. And I really, really love this motorhome. That's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about it. Andrea, may I go first? Sure. I didn't talk about it on the outside. That 50 amp power cord hookup, the external one, like you'll see on a travel trailer, not a fan of that whatsoever. Do you remember that? I do. Right, like one, it should be enclosed. You're in a motor home. Two, it should be a 50 amp power cord reel because you're in a diesel motor home. But to have that, like that external hookup like that, not a fan of that whatsoever. That's dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two for me is going to be the fiberglass exterior doors. I do not mind fiberglass exterior doors. Same latch doors, totally fine mm -hmm. on a gas motorhome. On a diesel motorhome, even though it's an XCS, even though it's straight rail, there's competitors in this price point using aluminum. So I think Palazzo should be using aluminum. That is number two. And then Andrea, what's dislike number three okay so i do like this <clears throat> kitchen but you guys to me i just yep. don't like the couch La space it's, yep it, i mean you got here or you got here and it just yeah it doesn't mesh for with me it's correct it is what it is it's not a ton of countertop it's space on right now here's what i will say this definitely helps because it can oh, kind of i'm turning camera the wrong way guys it's sorry okay. here's what i will say this can definitely help but yeah, not for the cooking. I really, meal yeah, I wouldn't want to prepare food right there by the TV. Right, right. But if you're watching like a cooking show, right, I yeah, mean, you could be like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you'd want to be that close. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the Palazzo. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for Will and Jen for uh, hopping in the shower. Well, Will, and then make sure you guys tune in tomorrow so you guys can see what video they, or no, their videos will be uh, a few, like next week or two weeks away. Neither here nor there, Andrea. Here's what I know. That's it, that's the review. If you guys are interested in this motorhome or any motorhome in the entire world, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's I will link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Andrea, and a member of our team will help everybody get the absolute 
best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes! Thor does read the comments, they do watch the videos. So with this being a new floor plan, please leave your feedback. Yes. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. We hope you're safe and well. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time!